There it is. One second. Now I have to start over. And I haven't even started. If you never, if you never. That means it's a bit distracting. <clears throat> I can overcome that then. In my veins, move along. King of to pull me in, my own vampire. I can't, I can't do the music. Won't you come? Won't you come? Just don't say a word. Won't you come? Mm. Woo! Woo! So. I was gonna put the music on so you can hear me in the room, but curious Kelly over here already tried to come in, so he already knows I'm up to something. Well, he doesn't know, so he's gonna look through his videos eventually and see this. And when he does, he's gonna be right here at. 217, 18, 19. See me. Hi, Bobby. I'm trying to get comfortable because I want to be here for a little bit. Alright. You see this? I know I may have paid for it. May pay for the other one too, but it's not really an issue of who paid for what. It's it's what it means. This <coughs> little cubic zirconium on sterling silver means. As soon as this thing degrades into nothing, so shall we. Too bad that it's made of sterling silver, and this thing's probably been around since the friggin' 60s, which is longer than I've been around, longer than you've been around. And it'll continue to. Survive the storms. And unless we put it underneath a car or personally smash it with a hammer, there's nothing, metaphorically speaking and figuratively speaking, <coughs> that can tear this thing apart or break it or wear it away. So as long as this thing is on my finger, and as long as this thing I don't want to say on my finger because sometimes I take it off, but as long as this thing exists, so shall we. I really feel like I've come a long way 
and I'm probably gonna watch this video and be like, I'm so little, look how cute I am. Look how immature I am. I guess that's how it's always gonna be. And that's part of life, I think. Always looking back and being like, look how little I was. Look how big I am now. That's how I feel right now. I feel like I'm looking back and seeing how much we've grown as a couple and as individuals and as humans. I'm digging the pink hair though. Pink is my color. Always gotta have a video with me just playing with my hair. It's just a part of me, I guess. It's been one month. April. Oh, it's May. It's May 2nd. Anniversary is in two days. And we're probably not going to do anything this year because we're broke. But we made it a year. That's longer than any relationship that I've been in. Not counting the one with Steven because she wasn't real. So, besides that, this is the longest real relationship I've had. And it's so fucking scary, real. Like, a year ago, we were working at Target. And I was convinced that I didn't want to know you because you made me feel things. And I wanted to be with females. And I couldn't stay away from you. You were just so sweet and cute and different. You're just, you're not like any of the guys that I've ever met. Like, the fact that you don't even realize how real people are. Like, you're just like, real guys are like that? Like, guys are like that? And I'm just like, guys are assholes. And then I look at you, and sometimes you're an asshole, but I don't know what they you're my best friend. And you're supporting me. Not necessarily financially because we're both broke, but when I wake up and you see you next to me, or you go to work and you give me a kiss goodbye. It's just the best feeling ever. It's just, I'll randomly just catch myself. Like I'll forget for a minute while I'm zoning out, just forget. And then I'll be watching, say a movie, listening to a song, listen to someone carry on a conversation. And then I look up at you I fancy you. I look at you and I'm just like, wow, he's adorable. And then I remember. It's mine. <laughs> and then I'm just like, you're mine. And then you're like, I am yours. And I can just see it in your eyes. Because you don't, you don't. 
you don't feel what I feel. Like, I'm not saying you don't feel the love that I feel. I don't feel like you really truly understand what it feels like to look at someone and just remember all at once again that that beautiful person is yours. Like, I don't feel like you ever forget. I don't feel like you are constantly getting knowledge that I'm yours. I think you might think something could happen, you know, something could tear us apart, but nothing can. Because as long as this thing's on here and as long as this thing's existing, nothing can tear us apart except ourselves. But those moments, those moments help me through a lot. Like, not having a job right now makes me feel like a lazy bum, which has been a problem for me for the past year. Just not being able to do anything makes me feel like shit. Puts me back in the shoes that you were in when you didn't have a job for two months. But I've been going through it for a year now. And the only difference of the current time is that I have you. And so when I get stuck in me, in my head, and I'm thinking about how I'm wasting energy, how in two months, if I don't have a job, we could be drowning. I don't feel like shit. I look over at you. I feel safe. I feel like all those negative thoughts that I'm having are impossible. I will find a job. We won't drown. Because no matter what happens, I have you. And that keeps me going. And I think I'm ready to have that for the rest of my life. And I've never been as sure as I am today. And I know this sureness will continue to grow as I do. And so (sighs) I love you. I really do. I love you so much. Nobody could ever replace you. Nobody could ever pretend to be you. Nobody could ever just come in between us and break us apart. Because you were the one that I was looking for. You're the one that I found. And I just don't feel like I need to look anymore. All I feel like is safe. I feel calm. I feel bored. There's a little bit of that in there, but I feel safe. I feel home. It's a new feeling. And it's going to take a little time to get used to, but I kind of like not being used to it right now because 
It's always those moments when I just forget and then I look over and I remember all over again. Did your mind? And I get to keep you. God, I love you so much. <laughs> and you know it's funny? I wanted to make this video because we were just watching our porno. <laughs> and while I was watching it, yeah, it was a little awkward. But I wasn't really watching it to, like, get aroused. I was watching it to see how we act. And we're awkward. And I love it. That's why I don't feel awkward watching it. Because all I see is two kids in love being themselves and enjoying each other's company. And it made me feel really happy, really nostalgic. And so, and then I saw your journal entry and I really related to your video because I'm in the same spot right now. I don't have a job. We have bills coming. We may we might be safe for like two months. But we're in the same shoes. So I wanted to make this video for you so the next time you feel like you can't talk to me because you don't want to put your problems on me and make me feel overwhelmed. I want you to know I do have the capacity to separate from my problems because I'm just like you. People come to me for advice. Some people don't, but I give it to them. And I've also learned to take my own advice. It took a while, but I did. And for emotional things, I've been listening to myself a lot more. Now I just have to work on listening to you. So. And there will be a time when you need me, or you need someone, and I'll be here. And I hope this video helps you overcome anything you need. And if not, maybe help you push, help a little push to come and talk to me. Because I love you. I always will. And no matter what problems we're having, because we will have problems, none of these problems could get in between you and me. Nobody. Nothing. Not even me. So, even if I'm having problems, if you need someone to talk to, you're not alone. Come to me and tell me that you need to talk and you want me to listen. I will separate from my own problems and I will listen. And I will, with all the power that I have, try and help you solve your problem. And then maybe that will help us solve whatever problem we're having at the time. So far, we haven't really had any big problems. 
the learning about communication or learning growing anyways i hope this video at least put a smile on your face i love you bye bubby